Yes, one more hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Sure. I said, you know what? I thought I was gonna blue tick this drama because in my heart of hearts, I'm like, I will. Hey, <laughs> when did we start having recipe food beef drama? Like, when did it start? But I see a lot of people are really interested in this, and a lot of people are really invested in this. And now there are even threats of, you know, Nara taking legal action um, against Uonezun. This is what Onara said. I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to address a serious matter regarding your recent statements accusing me of stealing your content. You have publicly claimed that I stole your videos related to Boba Tea, Boba Boba, and mozzarella cheese, which is untrue and damaging to my reputation. These allegations are entirely false. The videos in question are not my original creations, and I have all the necessary proof of this on the social media platform TikTok. Your false accusations have caused significant harm to my personal and professional reputation. This email serves as a formal notice that if you do not retract your statements and cease making these defamatory claims immediately, I will have no choice but to pursue legal action against you for defamation of character. I strongly urge you to take this matter seriously and to address it promptly to avoid further legal consequences. I expect your prompt response and a public retraction of your false claims. Sincerely, Nara Smith. Now, when I listened, guys, I don't want to lie. I'm just going to be honest, okay? I know, I know a lot of people might not agree with me, but I'm just going to be honest. When I listened to Onezwa's complaint, the first thing she said okay or the first thing she complained about rather was nara is making money out of this and i'm not you have continuously used my ideas to get views now that would be fine except in south africa we don't get paid for views and where she is they get paid for views so she has been making money of stealing my content so I knew from the get-go that's where the problem is. And it's not Nara's fault that um, TikTok is not paying um, South African creators. It's not. Or African content creators. Even though they are placing ads on their videos, clearly they're making money out of, out of it or out of them, but they are not paying them. It's not Nara's fault. Number two... Nara has more audience because she's in the US, um, you know, so obviously she's bound to have more audience. A lot of people from other countries as well, English countries, can relate to Nara's content um, as opposed to um, Uonezo. Because Uonezo, you know, it's more South African rooted in most of the content, or at least the content that I've seen. I mean, Gibonela Payana, Bashayanfetu, Inkukuya Sintu, you know. So, so it's more south african or african rooted Uonezo is not necessarily a smaller content creator because she has a lot of followers she has a lot of followers but compared to unara obviously she is okay so that's the first thing it's not nara's fault that Uonezo is not getting paid um with tiktok platform for her work it's not but another thing Nara claimed not to know Uonezo. But people pulled out Ama receipts was no. You once commented on Onezo's um um video and you said hey, 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 hey. your 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 content is inspiring. There is no way. First of all, I do comment on people's um content and I forget. But when I say it's inspiring, it means that I watch, watch it, okay? I watch, watch it, and there's definitely no way I would not know that person if I find their content inspiring, okay? So Unara did lie there. She did lie. And then um, we have the recipes now, where the foundation of the beef, <laughs> the recipes, Okay. We have the recipes. Listen, man, honestly speaking, when I want to cook something or make something, I go to YouTube and check for recipes. I go to YouTube and check how to make a makuinya and I copy that. I don't even say thank you in the comment section. Thank you. Um, This recipe really helped. I don't. 
okay maybe i am guilty of that i didn't know what you're supposed to um give credit or give thanks <laughs> i thought you guys post so that we can copy and make it home but now that I think about it, the polite thing to do to say is to say thank you after someone took their time to make recipes. Okay, but it's a different case from um, it's it's obviously different from Onezo and Nara, cause like Onezo said, Nara is making money out of this, so the least she could do is to give credit. But you guys have to understand, Onezo is not the first person to make those recipes. She also took the idea from Samui, and. With the videos that I've watched of her making these recipes, I have not heard her saying, Wuzi, I took this idea from, um, I, I was inspired by Sfi, so um, that's where I took the idea from. Uh, make sure you go and check out his page or his channel. I have not heard. But on the video that she made, she did say that she does give um, credit where it's due, but I, I've just not heard with the videos that I, I, I've seen of her. I, I've just not heard. So for me, with that information that I have, because I've not heard, I've not seen, you know, her giving, um, giving credits where it's true. With that, I feel as if it's a fake game. If you also take, um, if you also take recipes from some way and not give credit, then why should Nara take, um, or steal, if we want to put it that way, recipes from your page, which are like three or two recipes, according to nara because i was asking myself Ganti manga pilama recipes are you telling me that unara every time unesa makes a video you know a new recipe um anything from scratch unara we are hamba ya want want is that what you're telling me you know but according to nara and this um this um email it's the tea and the mozzarella cheese two two recipes and i'm like but if really it's just two recipes why are we making such a big deal because with the mozzarella cheese oh the other day i saw Musakola posting that um owners were made marshmallows from scratch 2020 oh who's this nara smith made marshmallows um 2024 from scratch so i'm like oh so nara smith is not supposed to do anything that Onezo once did that's where the problem is but that's impossible especially if they are in the same industry like do you know how many creators you know that um content creators in the food niche that made marshmallows from 2020 even prior 2020 hi guys i feel like we're reaching here hey i feel like we're reaching unless if onezwa created um or invented something you know if it was a matter of onezwa came up with this recipe and onara stole it i would honestly understand and i would side with her but these are recipes that are available on the internet and how do you know that onara actually stole it from you what if she took it from Mosfis and when uh, where did you give credit for the ones that you also took from somewhere? Hey guys, I'm trying to me now a bula luchesu, but I just don't understand this beef. I feel like it shouldn't even have gone this far. I feel like we're reaching with this and there is sort of like entitlement with recipes that honestly nobody owns. Nobody owns. But about Onezo, by understanding Mono Lendola, I show you, um, Nara Smith people feel like Onezo is reaching. Honestly speaking, I'm just, I don't even follow these people, but listening to their stories, I, Onezo, I, mm -mm, no man, no, it's not Nara Smith's fault that you're not getting paid out of this. And she's not getting paid because of you. She also does vlogs. And if the, the, the recipes you're complaining about, it's just two i man out of all nara smith's um content you can't just sum that thing up and say she's getting paid because of your work that's untrue that is not true she does vlogs her husband is famous in the world he's one of the highest paid model if you should look him up you know um maybe that's also contributed to nara smith's success so i feel like we're reaching here honestly speaking and it's just food man a lot of people 
Bayenza Ama food recipes. I also saw um, another creator that um, made bubblegum lollipops and on it, and now they say Nara stole from her. And so what? What if she got inspired and made the same thing? I'm sure that creator also saw that from somewhere. I mean, you can't just dream about lollipops and and you wake up the next morning you say Abba Panzibang won say look at how to make a my lollipops from scratch. You took the idea from somewhere. That's the thing. I feel as we say this is such this is not a big deal. And honestly, I should just find ways um to 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 get the bag. Um, you know, if TikTok is not paying her, maybe find someone that is in Germany, that is in US, that is going to um thingy your 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 account so that you also get paid from here. You can do that. You guys know you can do that, ne? You can find someone that stays in Germany or US or any other countries that TikTok where TikTok pays and low mode you can run your account and you just upload the content and you get paid. You know that, right? If you don't know now, you know. Do let me know, guys, what you think in the comment section down below.